Thank you, everyone. These last 48 hours have been some of the most intense, yet most prayerful, of our lives. The heinous attack on President Trump and his supporters made all of us pause and seek answers and comfort. I come from a family of Sikh immigrants. I am honored to share with you, my fellow Republicans and guests tonight, a prayer from my faith tradition practiced by over 25 million worldwide. We recite the Ardas prayer before any new endeavor, giving thanks to God and asking for his protection and help to uphold the values of humility, truth, courage, service, and justice for all. To show respect, we cover our heads when we pray. Tu tha kar tum pe ardas jiyo pind sab teri ras tum mat pita ham barak tere tumri kirpa mai sukh kanere koi na jaane tumra ant uche te Chapagavant Sagal Samagri Tumare Sutar Dhari Tumte Hoe So Agya Kari Tumari Gat Mit Tumahi Jani Nanak Das Sada Kurbani Dear Waheguru, our one true God, we thank you for creating America as a unique haven on this earth where all people are free to worship according to their faith. We seek your blessings and guidance for our beloved country. Please bless our people with wisdom as they vote in the upcoming election, and please bless with humility, honesty, skill, and integrity all those who conduct the election. Finally, we thank you for the Chardikala spirit that we have witnessed in President Trump, that is, the tireless and uplifting, sp uplifting spirit that is sustained even in the face of violent adversity, like a founding father centuries ago. And we thank you, dear God, for protecting his life. We thank you for his examples of nirbha, fearlessness, and nirver, the absence of hate when faced with vitriol. These examples of extraordinary calm inspire us. Nanak Nam Jardikala Terebane Sarbatapala. May your name forever be exalted, spreading happiness and blessings and good spirit, that everyone may prosper and enjoy the grace of your peace. Thank you.